Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. As I have told you that we'll be in this tutorial we'll be going to discuss all about the problem of type integral 0 to 2 pi and in terms sin and cos. So basically we are having a small equations for these guys. So basically the given question will be in terms of like this integral 0 to 2 pi f of cos or in terms of sin or in both into d theta. So basically you will be converting this form initially into closed circle C of f of z is equals to 2 pi i into r that thing. So you will be just converting it to this and we know that how to solve this problem right. So you will be solving the same method and you will be substituting this value into the original, original question. So by using this method you will be getting the answer guys. So basically initially we need to replace dt in terms of dz right so basically we are having an equation that is z is equals to e power i theta so dz is equals to i e i theta that's it right i will be coming down as the coefficient of theta so i e power i theta into d theta so that implies nothing but dz is equals to i z this is nothing but z right so i z d theta so d theta is equals to dz by i z so now i hope everyone got a small idea and we are having two formulas for one is for sine and one is for cos guys. So cos theta will be replacing it by z square plus 1 by 2z and sine theta will be replacing by z square minus 1 by 2iz. Got it? So let us go through a basic small question guys. It's really really easy. So now let me take a piece of paper and all these problems will be covering at max of one and a half side guys that's it these are really small and these questions are for five marks you can just solve it within minutes if you are good at max okay so basically integral 0 to 2 pi the given question is luckily in terms of cos guys okay so I have told you that z is equals to e power i theta from that we got d theta is equals to dz by iz and here we are having only cos so I'll be writing only the cos formula z square plus 1 by 2z so everyone remember this formula guys right now you just remember it or if, if there is a chance of uh, derivation also it's, it will be available in my short notes if you want you can check it in my side the link will be in the description Okay, so cos theta is equals to z square plus 1 by 2z. Okay, so now you will be replacing dz and cos theta with that. So, once you substitute these values, the integral is automatically changing into integral over c. So, now it is really clear that it is in terms of closed integral c. So now let us try to change this guys it will be nothing but 1 by 2 plus z square plus 1 by 2z into dz by iz. So now we will be doing LCM and let us push it into the numerator c ok we will be getting 2z by here we will be getting 4z plus z square plus 1 I have just multiplied with this and I have just sent it to the numerator guys that's it I didn't do anything crazy there so I can cancel zz as I will be the normal thing I can just push it out of my integral so that it will be clear integral over c 2 dz by 4z plus z square plus 1 so now we will be finding the poles so basically I will be using calc for these kind of things guys as it is not a normal thing normal equation so by using calc I have just got these things these are the roots ok so these are the two roots that I got so basically for cos theta and sin theta problems remember that mod z is equals to 1 guys so the value should be less than 1 at maximum got it so now verify these two which of the following is less than 1 so mod z so minus 2 
root 3 value is 1.7 guys let us assume that so 1.7 we're gonna get minus 0 0.3 whereas here minus 2 minus 1.7 it's going to be minus 3.7 so mod is nothing but plus and plus here this point is going to be excuse me <clears throat> is going to be inside guys so I'll be assuming this as alpha and this as beta as this term is a bit complex I'll be just assuming it as alpha and beta so residues of f of z z is equals to alpha is equals to limit okay let me write it limit z tends to alpha into z minus alpha by z minus alpha into z minus beta z minus beta so I have just assumed this is alpha and this has beta so z minus alpha into z minus beta is going to give this equation okay so I'll be cancelling these two and I'll be substituting alpha here so 1 by alpha minus beta so if you subtract these both what will you get you'll be getting nothing but 1 by 2 root 3 okay so now I hope everyone got a small idea on this right so now this is what guys this is the answer for only this part right only for this part the answer is that okay even this is not the exact answer we need to multiply it with 2 pi i right I just forgot that so for this this is what you got right so that will be our residue so if you apply the closed circle integral of f of z is nothing but 2 pi i into 1 by 2 root 3 so 2 2 will be cancelling so pi i by root 3 so this is the answer for this so for this answer you need to multiply 1 by i to get the given question so for this into 1 by i it is nothing but okay okay even I took even I'll be taking 2 as common guys so that it will be clear as I took here 1 I forgot that or else I should keep here 2 so 2 2 okay that's fine here at the end you'll be having 2 guys basically here you'll be multiplying 2 by i so that will be getting i i cancel and 2 pi by root 3 so now I hope everyone is clear with this question so in the next tutorial we'll be going through one more method in which the given question will be in terms of infinity guys so if you want this question answer neat and clear you can just watch this for now take screenshots if you want or you can pause the video and recheck with your answer okay so in next tutorial we shall meet guys thank you thanks for watching